Hey, what's up everyone? Johnny the Geek here, and uh, today I'm going to go over a couple of new systems that I just built. These are the uh, two new Hackintoshes that I built. One is the budget system, which is right here, and the other one is the Mac Pro status, right? And uh, first I'm going to go over the uh, budget system here. Now this would be equivalent, I would say, in the power of a iMac, uh, certainly a little bit better I think than a Mac Mini. Um, so basically what we got here is a gigabit motherboard and it's the GAH55MUD2H uh, and this motherboard was uh, 94 bucks from Amazon, free ship, no tax. Um, and then the uh, processor is a Core i5 processor and uh, Core i5, it's the, uh, I believe it's the 8, the 760. 760, and uh, that was 95 bucks, oh no, I'm sorry, $209 from Amazon. And then the uh, RAM here, the RAM I actually picked up from Fry's, it was 84 bucks for 8 gigs, it was a good deal. Uh, but you can get it from Amazon for about 97 to $100 for uh, 8 gigs and it's upgradable to 16 there's two 8 gigs in there and then we have uh, two SATA hard drives and both of these was uh, $23 each from Amazon and then we have a power supply here that was 40 bucks at uh, Fry's um, with a $10 mail-in rebate so it came out to $30 we have a case the cooler or uh, Antec uh, 300 gaming case which was 55 bucks uh, from Amazon we have a Firewire 800 card that was 40 bucks from Amazon it's for Firewire 800. The Nvidia EVGA uh, GT240 graphics card that was 95 bucks from Amazon, and then the uh, Hitachi Spin Points um, one terabyte hard drive each was uh, 60 bucks from Amazon, and uh, that's pretty much it for the budget system. Uh, what I'm running here is um, I ran iBoot and also MultiBeast, the latest version, and also the uh, custom DSDT uh, from the Tony Mac x86 website. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to get a video on that, um, on how to set it up. And so on to the beefier system. Now this is a socket, oh which by the way this was a socket 1155. I'm sorry, 1156. And uh, this is the socket 1366, running a Core i7 930 processor. And uh, it's got a upgraded cooling. The customer wanted a, a upgraded cooling, um, not the stock system, not the stock fan. So this motherboard is the Gigabyte GA-X58A UD3R. And uh, the BIOS version, I think, I believe it's FD, uh, D's and David. Either that or it's the FB, I'm not sure. But um, I'll get more detailed on that when I show you how to set it up. Um, so we have 6 gigs of RAM upgradable uh, with another 3 slots. Remember, you have to have uh, 4 when you do the installation of the Mac OS X. Um, but you can later on put in the the remaining sticks of RAM in there. Um, the hard drive, only one hard drive on this one, one terabyte spin point that was sixty bucks. DVD burner, only one DVD burner that was twenty three bucks. The case itself, this is the uh, Elite Cooler Master Elite six ninety, uh, and this was eighty nine dollars from Amazon, free shipping. The uh, power supply was, I believe, $109. It's a Cooler Master 750 watt, more than enough power. Um, you don't really need a 750 watt for this kind of setup, but if you plan on adding more hard drives, it's it's a uh, it's good to have. But this was uh, about 110 bucks from Amazon. And then the graphics card, we have a uh, ATI um, or uh, AMD 5770, one gig graphics card and uh, they call it the Batmobile because the the heatsink shroud here looks like a Batmobile and uh, it's by Gigabyte 
this card, I don't remember how much it was. I think it was a hundred and about a hundred bucks or a hundred and something. I have to look that up. But I got that from Amazon. Uh, but the, by the time you're looking at this, I don't know, the price is probably different from what I paid. Right? So we've got uh, your SATA ports here. Um, the 3 gigabit SATA port, 6 gigabit SATA port, which do work. And then a uh, Firewire card, Firewire 800 card. Uh, that's pretty much it. This case came with this fan and this fan and this front fan. And uh, all in all, it runs pretty smooth. So, total, this system was about, I want to say 1100 just under $1,100 to build this system. Total. Right? It's got a cool dock right up here for hard drives. SATA, USB, sound, all that. It lights up blue, the LED, the front. And uh, that's pretty much it for this system right here. This particular budget system was about, because there's an extra hard drive and DVD burner, came out to about 700 bucks. But um, you can get it under 600 bucks if you went with a different case, a uh, less expensive case, um, and uh, only one DVD burner and one hard drive. You can get it down to about uh, 600 bucks, just over 600. Yep, so that's pretty much the two systems here that I just built. Again, uh, part two of this video is going to go through the uh, setting up of the software. Alright, thanks for watching. Peace!